Hello, I'm Paul, and thank you for joining me today. Let's see. We have an interesting question. Craig in Chicago, good old Chi Town. I got to tell you a story. <laughs> it just reminded me. In Colorado, we get some good cold weather, but our cold weather is very dry cold, and it can get down to like minus 20 and and be really cold. So we Coloradans kind of consider ourselves a little bit buff when it comes to handling cold weather and snow and all that. And so I was in Chicago to visit a dealer and I had put my winter coat on and it was winter. And we're driving along the road in downtown Chicago and I'm looking around and I see these people bundled up in these huge parkas. And I, I looked at my phone and it said it was 30 degrees out, above zero, nothing, wimps, these Chicagoans. I step out in my nice little coat and I thought, holy crap, I don't think I've ever been that cold in my life. The hawk, I think they call it, the wind, this moist wind coming off of the lake, Good. Lord, I've never been that cold in my life, and it was only 30 degrees. My my hat is off to Chicagoans who can handle that kind of cold. We Coloradans are the wimps when it comes to that. Hey, live and learn. Anyway, Craig, I uh, hope you're not too cold right now. How can I set up a server? My basic stuff's about 20 years old. I'm not sure what that actually means. When you say your basic stuff is 20 years old, do you mean your computer? Or do you mean your equipment? I'm not quite sure what to make of that question, Craig, and I apologize. I'm going to ignore the last part of it. Let's answer the first question. How can I set up a server? I've got a great... There's a, Is there a video? I think it's just a... a no, I, I believe it is just a how-to on our website. If you go to psaudio.com and then go to the resources section, we have something called a how-to. And when you go there, there's a whole how-to, how to set up a server. And I would encourage you to go to the website, check it out. If you have any questions, certainly email me and I can I can help you. But in essence... It's not that difficult, really, if you're computer savvy at all. So the article that I referenced here a minute ago on our website basically takes a Mac Mini. Now, I use, you could use a Nook, which is the little inexpensive PC, or you could take an old computer or a new computer or a laptop, uh, any number of of PC type devices can be used. Now, I, I'm an Apple guy. I got off the PC habit years ago and I ain't never going back. So I don't really play with Windows anymore. But it, it, it doesn't matter because the programs that you need to put on are usually available in both Mac and PC. But in essence, what you need to make a server is a computer, and a program. The program is called a server. And within the server, there is typically a music management section of that server. Most people would use a program like J River. J River makes a server music management program. And really, all you need to do is install something like J River or Audiovana. There is a number of, of servers that you can use and install on a computer, and that will access music that is on your computer, or perhaps you're streaming it, or perhaps it's on a NAS on your network. Any of those things can be accessed if you have a program like J River. Now, J River can be a little intimidating. Um, they have, in my opinion, one of the worst interfaces on the planet. Once you get used to it, it's a pretty good program. I mean, it, it's actually a very good program. It's just their interface is like, whoa, 
<laughs> grab some coffee, grab a weekend. There's plenty of tutorials around on how to install JRiver. Or you can just do something like what I did. I just installed iTunes and then I use BitPerfect. BitPerfect is a $10 program that only works on Macs. So if you're a Mac person, and this is what I describe in there, you can install iTunes and then BitPerfect. Now what BitPerfect does is it gets rid of the iTunes problem, if you will. The iTunes problem is that Apple in its infinite walled controlled garden is going to tell you how you're going to listen to music. And they run everything through an upsampler. It's all just to make it easy. They're not concerned with audio files at all. So the BitPerfect program says, oh, I'm going to circumvent the Apple internal engine that screws up the sound quality and give you directly what that real file is. It's a pretty simple program. It's easy to use. And then you can hook up your iPad and use uh, Apple Remote. You, if you have JRiver, they have JRemote, which is a great program. So either way, you need a computer and a program in order to create a server. And that's about it. So head to our website, go to the how to section under resources. And if you have any questions, we are always here to help. Good question. Thanks for asking. Bye-bye.